My neighbor just made the sandwich. It is wow. I'm so Hello everyone and welcome to Bike Nomads. Today's video is not going to be a motor vlog but it's going to be a very very useful video for all you aspiring YouTubers out there and if you already have a YouTube channel and you already know how to do a motor vlog Dekh lo yaar, shayad aapki kuch kaam aaj hai. So guys, in the past few days, I have been getting lots and lots of questions about how to do a motor vlog, what kind of camera setup that I use, where do I mount my cameras, what shooting modes do my cameras have, and various other things all relating to motor vlog. Let's divide this video in three parts. Equipment. Two, motor vlogging setup. Three, editing tools or editing software that can be used to create your beautiful video. So let's start with the first topic of the day that is equipment. So when we are talking about equipments, we are talking about cameras that you use to create your videos. We are talking about microphones that you can use to create your videos better and crisper. So talking about equipments, let's start with the primary camera that I use uh, which is this one that I am shooting on right now. That's a Nikon D700. It is not necessary that you need to have a DSLR camera to shoot. You can shoot your videos on anything that you feel comfortable with, but it should have a good clarity. So let's discuss the action cameras that I use in my motor vlogging equipment. So this, this is an Ion Air Pro 2. Talking about the second camera that I use, that is this. This is a Xiaomi Yi action camera, it's a 2K camera. So we'll discuss in detail about these cameras just in a bit. So let's talk about the Ion Air Pro 2. There are three cameras that are launched by this company till date. One is Ion Air Pro, two is Ion Air Pro 2 and the third one is Ion Air Pro 3. Not much of a difference in the cameras uh, but just the imaging sensors are a little bit better with a pricing range. Now I got this camera for $117 to be precise from US and you can get this camera or Ion Air Pro 3 in India as well through Amazon.com. The link for this camera is in the description below. Do check it out. Talking a bit about this camera, this gives me a full HD 1080p recording. This has a 14 megapixel image sensor as well as a 30 meters waterproofing depth without any case. Yes, you guys heard me right. This camera does not require any waterproofing case to be underwater. So if you see this, this panel is a waterproofing panel. Once this is put in and it's secured by this clay, this camera can go underwater with crisp clarity up to 30 meters. Trust me, I'll show you the underwater footage right here somewhere. It's great. Few other features that I liked about this camera. This is a Wi-Fi enabled camera and this has a 180 degree field view angle. So I was searching for something which is better than a SJ, better than the Xiaomi and better than all the other cameras that are available in India. But at the same time, it is not as expensive as a GoPro and here it was. Now the secondary camera that I use is this. That's a Xiaomi Yi 2K action camera. This, this piece of baby. I'm sure you guys would have seen this already. Now what this piece does is it shoots 1080p videos with 60 FPS resolution. Camera can go up to 40 meters underwater with this casing. This camera has a 16 megapixel Sony SMOR sensor. Now the reason why I chose this camera versus the SJ because the color grading which is the most important aspect of motor vlogging is much better in this piece of baby. Now if you compare a footage of SJ camera and Xiaomi you would find the color grades are much higher in resolution and much better much crisper in this camera than the SJ flaws about this camera to be used as a motor vlogging setup and the reason why I have this as a secondary camera and not the primary one. 
this camera let, let me open this case camera does not have any audio port you cannot connect an external mic to this camera first flaw that you cannot use it as a motor blogging camera problem number two with this camera is the battery the stock battery that you get with this camera is very weak it lasts about 45 minutes 45 to 50 odd minutes when you're shooting uh, on a normal resolution not even 2k regardless of the night or day versus the ion that i use as a primary camera has an external mic port though there is some jugad in it has an external mic port it can shoot full HD videos for 3 hours straight without charge. Apart from these cameras, there are a couple of other cameras that you can use for your motor vlogging setups as well. Like these. The GoPro Hero 4 range. The GoPro Hero 5. SJ cameras. The Garmin and the Drift HD. You can get detailed information about these cameras that I just showed you guys on Google as well as on other shopping websites. Now let's talk about microphones. Microphone is the most essential mean through which a person like me could connect with my audience and viewers like you all. So let me show you guys the microphone or the color mic that I use. So this, this is the wire that goes inside the helmet this is the air filter or the this is this is just like a boom headset this is the air and this is the filter that you put on it so it avoid all the shh noise that comes while you're recording so, so this is the mic and this is the audio port on it uh, this is the jugad that you'll have to do if you're using an ion air pro now the Ion Air Pro has a 2.5 mm jack, audio jack. Now what I had to do is get a 2.5 mm male audio jack and convert it to a 3.5 mm female audio jack. Sounds like fun. Trust me, I had a nightmare searching for that one chord. Nightmare. Spare me, it's a bit dirty because uh, I've removed it just from a helmet. This is a 2.5 mm jack male and this is a 3.5 mm output female so you put this this into this and this goes inside your helmet and this connects on the back of your ion that's the microphone setup that i use there are other microphones that you can use they are also called as collar mics there is a huge list of collar mics that you can buy which will support your motor blogging need. The couple of them that I have listed down are in the description link below. This is also available on, on Amazon. I've got this from Amazon. This cable I couldn't find on Amazon so I had to uh, run through the streets of Lamington Road for three hours on two of my week offs to find this. And I've got a bunch of them so that I don't have to go there again. So now moving on to the second phase of the video motor blogging setup. This is my helmet this is the camera that I use so this is a Soul Unicorn uh, this is one of the finest helmets that I could get because it was tried and tested so let's talk about the mounts or the places that you can install the ION camera on this this base plate is what you get with the ion inside the box there's only one base plate so i cannot i cannot actually show you uh, how this looks but so this is the base plate this has a 3m tape so this is a 360 swivel mount that also comes in uh, in the box with ion so how did i set it up so this is the uh, the first place where you can set up your ion second place where you could set up your ion on full face helmets is this now the same plate that is here you can put it vertically over here 
and switch on the image rotation feature in the ion so the camera would be here and it will be facing the front now because this camera is tubular in shape it will not usually record your side helmet and all because it's long enough so that's that's a benefit that you have with ion talking about the xiaomi this this camera can be mounted at three different places is this when you do not have the ion i just remove the 360 mount and i can install this the second one that i use majority of my times when i'm shooting a secondary camera video that would be this mount where the camera is like this or it is like this along with this we also have a third place where you install the camera here so you uh, you install a base plate and then you install a 360 rotational mount and this is how the camera looks chalo bhai camera bhi operate karna seekh gaye video bhi shoot kar liya what now the footage that we just recorded or just we learned how to record is a raw footage you cannot use the raw footage because it is not presentable so how to make your videos or your footage presentable the only way to do that is learning and editing software what editing tool to use how to use it how difficult is it to use we'll discuss all these pointers in detail in the next few minutes everyone that i've met in the recent days have shown me gestures as it's a big deal to learn editing software or it's a big task to learn editing software but if you dedicatedly sit for 2 hours in front of the editing software with a correct tutorial from youtube that will connect to the software and make you learn how to edit it's my guarantee you can edit a perfect video for 10 minutes with perfect intro beautiful transitions and amazing outro that, let's talk about couple of editing softwares that are available in market which are easy to use for self learning one is sony wavis pro youtube space is filled with tutorials for operating sony wavis pro i'm sure we all must have heard of windows movie maker it has been in market for a long long now it's time for something new something better something much faster i'm talking about adobe premiere pro i am using adobe premiere pro 2017 it cost me around 3000 rupees every month for licensing that software i tried using the cracked version it sucks big time it does not have any updates it is slow it takes 4 hours to render a 15 minute video comparing to the current version that i'm using 10 minutes to render a 13 to 15 minute high resolution video that is adobe's current version of update on the premiere pro here is the link to the tutorial click on the i button over here for the tutorial to learn premiere pro from which i learned using it it's around 16 minutes video if you watch it twice or thrice i'm sure you will be able to edit a beautiful video out of that tutorial so now that we have covered all the three pointers that we had on our list today let's summarize what we discussed about point number 1 that we discussed is equipment point number 2 that we discussed today is mode of vlogging setup point number 3 that we discussed today was editing tools so guys if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up it really really matters a lot to me it motivates me to do frequent uploads to get new ideas to the table in front of the camera for you all if you think i have missed any part to be covered in this video today please put it in the comment section below i'll make sure it gets covered in the next how to do video that we are going to be doing so if you guys think that you guys want to see more of such kind of vlogs on how to do stuff or how to do it by yourself so that you don't have to shell out a lot of money please put it in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to look through the comments and work on the feedback that you guys are giving me so that's all from me amit at bikonomad today see you guys until next time